maybe I've never been pushed to the point where I had to consider violence. So I've never, I've been, I don't, I don't believe in violent opposition to the government at this point. Uh, but um, uh, Leora's point is a, it's, a, it's a brilliant point. I mean, it's a point that, but it's a very deep point. I mean, what, what Leora is doing is challenging the very idea uh, of relying heavily um, on um, judicial protection of constitutional rights um, as a way to um, protect large uh, swaths of the population, and that suggesting that the weak in the, in the society uh, can be protected more effectively through the, the use of majority politics. Or but, even understanding that, you know, we can do whatever, the law is part of our politics, but it's politics nevertheless, that we can do whatever we can in the right, courts, but, but, uh, but uh, we can't trust the judges to keep our democracy or our most cherished values. Well, I have no quarrel with that. I mean, I have no quarrel with saying that, um, that ultimately, but that's, but that's why, uh, frankly, I'm, uh, I'm not disagreeing with you there. What, uh, my effort in drawing the, the, uncon the untouchable constitutional line um, is the point at which, if the judges do move there, they violated their covenant, and we do have to go to popular efforts to resist, resist them. Um, uh, the rest is the, 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 the ordinary uh, constitutional politics, um, I think we agree on entirely, but there's something much deeper. The point that I that I want at least to answer with um, is that um, I don't believe, frankly, from everything that I've seen in my lifetime in the United States and from everything I see in Israel today, I do not believe that majoritarian politics can be trusted to protect the rights of the genuinely weak. I don't think the majority respects the rights of racial minorities. I don't think the majority respects the rights of radical political dissenters. I don't think the majority respects the rights of, of religious um, religious people who I think are religious crackpots. Um, um, I don't, and I think that if if we had a, a way of uh, of putting that up to a um, uh, to, to democratic vote, um, all we would do is replicate the citizens of Athens putting Socrates to death. Um, they voted by a fair political majority to put him to death. Um, and when you have, when you, when you put the rights of the individual and say it's going to be the pop, it's going to be the, the majority, it's going to be fair democratic politics that will determine the rights of the individual, I believe that you are moving towards a society in which the rights of the individual will be kept to a minimum because the, all, the only thing that you have is moral suasion, asking the majority not to do it, or fear that they will precipitate a violent reaction. Um, and I just, I don't think either one of them is the way you want to go. So that's why I continue to try to have faith in courts, even but though it's are, a shaken faith. But what you are doing to human rights, most of the time you tell us there is nothing you can do here, really. Because this is uh, this is the, not the, unta the untouchable constitution. You are putting them to sleep on a lot of the, the politics that they could uh, do. And or what I said also, it's not just majoritarianism. There are legal debates. It's just the faith that there is something there that uh, uh, that uh, we can recognize it, and nobody, uh, nothing will. Uh, it's an empty shell. If, Why? if you could regulate the clinics, like Roe v. Wade, you know, it's a, it's a valid law. But, but then you can have a regulation that says that you need to be in a certain distance from the hospital. And they do it in Alabama, they do it in New York. But, but it's not an empty shell. But it is not an empty shell. It is not a perfect recognition of the right, and the right can be eroded for certain people. And one has to continue to fight that very, very hard. But the suggestion that because poor women in Texas have been effectively denied their right to abortion, um, that's the same as saying there is no right to abortion throughout the United States, seems to me to be looking at the thing through a very, very strange lens. No, no implementation of any norm is perfect. There will always be ex exceptions. There will always be, we will always fall short 
of trying to enforce the hard norms that we care about, and to say, to say at that point, well, that it's not worth having the norms, strikes me as being unduly perfectionist. Um, of course, um, 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 the abortion cases infuriate me. Of course, it infuriates me um, <laughs> when uh, aspects of free speech law are, are, are fail, and and when we don't get um, the, the the best possible outcome for equality cases. But I also recognize, because I've lived it for 50 years, that the world is very different for many people than it was 50 years ago when I started. There, there are changes. It does affect large numbers of people. But there's an enormous amount of work that's still to be done. Um, and that what I'm trying to do is set up a two-tier, uh, you know, a, a defense mechanism that says, we're not going to do so well on the politics. So remember, politics count. Get out there and win, win elections so that we can get constitutional politics back. What, what we could have done with 2016 if we only had those courts. Get out there and do something. But I want to also say to Trump, it's not all politics. You can't do whatever you want. Why not have both? And so why, can, why shouldn't we try to have a two-step process, but, but, but it's entirely possible, and I sympathize with you. I don't know if I can pull it off. What is the cost of the two tiers? Uh, well, there, you you might, seem but, to, be, to be saying no cost and only advantages. Well, it I'm might put people to sleep. You're right, it might put them to sleep. Uh, uh, they were asleep for a long not time. Not necessarily, not in America. Uh, other questions, yes, please. Mm -hmm. 